lights and clean power. I know it's really loud for this video, and I'm sorry about that, but we're doing work while we're working. Um, so we got an issue here on our unloader. Right here is cracked. We've had that happen before. You can see, obviously, it's uh, messing with this brass fitting. So one of the things that we do to make this easier, this is actually one inch um, EDDM hose. I have this coming out at angles. I also do not have this mounted. You can see this whole thing can come out. So I can get this to a better spot for me to work on it. I can also unscrew that, take that off if need be. Um, I could even, in order to take the whole thing out of the box, I just have to undo that one fitting right there. And these are all brass. <coughs> the only plastic fitting is this unloader, but everything else is here is brass. And then when I remove this, all I have to do is loosen this piece off of here, and I've already flushed everything. I'm going to take a um, socket wrench um, and go ahead and get that taken off. And then I'll be able to remove that, remove that, put the new one on, back in business. So just a few minutes down, instead of unfortunately guys, when a lot of times, <coughs> and not necessarily unfortunate, but they're more difficult to work on when they're already completely mounted in the box. By having this piece of wood in here, normally we'll have another piece here so that way it's, it's well set where it's supposed to be. It's got a little bit of wiggle room if need be, but not much. You can see also we replaced and got rid of the um, switch that was here, or the plug, the GFI plug. Uh, since we don't need that, we want to do, but it's already off. We've also got our electric cord coming through here. So, again, I'm going to take this apart. Be right back. Get that loose. And we're going to do a couple more revolutions on here to make it a little bit easier to work with. Slide this out of the way. Try not to cut my hand on that with that hose pin. move this a little bit so we can get a wrench in here, take both of these pieces off and actually be able to go ahead and just take this right off. So this unloader has been on here for, um, I don't know, I've used it on here for over three months. And you can just see, just right there, it's a weak point in it. But it started to split, it started spraying everywhere, and obviously we can't have leaks when we got roof mix. So, we're gonna get the bag of replacement ones, we'll take this fitting off, we'll put new Teflon tape there and there, we'll clean out the, um, the inlet on the, or sorry, where that's coming out of the pump. Um, make sure there's not any loose Teflon tape to get clogged in somewhere else put it back together and back in business. Total downtime is going to be probably about, I mean really if we were rushing through this we could probably fix it in about two to five minutes. But have a great day. Got our new one, Teflon tape did three rounds all the way for both. Um, this is tightened there but it's not overly tightened. That's a big thing guys. You can easily split one of these by tightening it too much. Um, again, this is the weak point in this entire system. This won't be quite as big of an issue. I don't think I've ever broken the inner fitting when twisting something into it. Usually it's going to be the fitting that's going into it. It's usually the, uh, the female, not the male portion that breaks. So, again, we'll uh, kind of drain that out too. Let's see, got all the water that was in there. That's out, that's empty. Now we're 
we're going in properly in here. We're going to do one more turn, maybe two. That's feeling pretty tight there. So we get one more revolution on that. Let me get in there in a second, guys.